When you left this town, your windows down in the wilderness inside. Let the exits pass, all the tar and glass, till the road and sky. Hi there, it's Reading Writing Coffee, and today we are talking about the 36 books I read in 2018 in order. Because why not? I. I um, fulfilled my Goodreads reading goal for 2018, which was read 35 books in 12 months. And I actually passed it by one. 36 books. Technically, I could have gotten to 37, but I got lazy. So, here are the 36 books I read in 2018. I'm too lazy to put them at the end of the video like photos of them at the end of the video and I'm too lazy to put all the links in the description for all those books and their good read pages so just google it I'm sorry but it's a lot of books okay a lot of books but here are the books book number one The Geek's Guide to Unrequited Love by Sarah Van Dash. I don't know how to pronounce some of these names, so I apologize in advance. I'm trying. Number two, Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. I didn't like this book. I absolutely hated this book and the premise. It was such trash. I hated this book. It made me so mad. Yeah. But also, the premise of this book could actually happen. But I hated the premise of the book. I don't want to read about that. It's sad. And the characters are shitty. Well, not the one character, but the rest of the characters were shitty. It sucked. Okay, anyway, number three. Scythe by Neil Shusterman. This is one of my favorite books. I love this book so much. So much. So much. I like Neil Shusterman's writing in general. I liked his Unwind series. I liked Bruiser. And I obviously like Scythe. So, I like his books in general. But it's a great book, and I can't wait to read the rest of the books in that series, which is, like, Thunderhead, and I can't remember if there's a third book or not, but I know that Thunderhead's out. Go check it out. I want to read it so bad. <laughs> Next book, Rubble of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, which is a great book, and I loved it. It's, like, Islam mythology meets, like, dystopian meets, like, cowboys. It's great! Great. I loved it. I also loved the um, sequel, which is also on this list, in a few, after a few more books. Echo After Echo by Amy Rose Capetta. It was super gay, and I loved it. The Morganville Vampires Volume 1 by Rachel Kane. It's about vampires in Texas, so... Yeah. Traitor to the Throne, which is the second book in the Rebel of the Sand series by Alan Smith, or Alan Hamilton, because reading. Alan Hamilton. That's her name. Okay. Good book. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Loved the characters. Loved the world. It was just great. Okay. Next book. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand. It was a great book. It's about history and fantasy at the same time. It was weird. But a good, a good weird. Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Angels and stuff. Alaska Home by Demi McComer. It's actually three stories in one book. It's like a thick mass market. Ah! Mass market paperback book. It was good. I liked it. I guess. If I Didn't Care by Kate Nolan. Killian by Brenda Rothart. Haunted on Bourbon Street by Deanna Chase. Anchor by Nicole Blanchard. If I just read past some of these, like, I don't, I don't exactly remember what they were about. Um, but I read them. They were ebooks, And I read, like, a bunch of ebooks at this time when I was, um, up in Jacksonville. So, there were a lot of them that I may or may not remember. But they were good. 
Mostly, I guess. Where did I stop off at? I'm just going to say Anchor by Nicole Blanchard. Justice for Mackenzie by Susan Stoker. Material Witness by L.A. Mondello. Veiled Eyes by C.L. Belleville. Belleville? Belleville. Whatever. The Wolf Within by Cynthia Eden. Tin God by Stacy Green. I actually remember what that one was about, and it was fantastic. Read it if you can. Tell Me Something Good by Jamie Wesley, which was also a very good book. It reminds me of a romantic comedy, and I don't particularly like romantic comedies because I think the situations in them are very unlikely, and it shows a um, skewed view of romance and love, usually. But they're sometimes funny to watch. Hi, Jinx and all that jizz. I did not mean to say jizz. I meant jazz. Oops. Anyway, it's basically about two radio people. DJs? Would I call them DJs? They're those people that talk on radios. You know, like in between the music songs and stuff, there's people that talk. They're those people. A Shameless Little Con by Melly Rain. I think it's Melly Rain. It's a weird name. Heat Exchange by Shannon Stacy. Expectation by Holly Mortimer. Bad For You by Abby Glines. Geekerella by Ashley Poston. I absolutely love this book. It was so cute and geeky and I loved it. Um, <laughs> Flames of Love by Erin Wright. Where Dreams Are Born by M.L. Buckman. Bookman? Buckman? Whatever. Murder, Mayhem, and Mama by Christy Craig. Gone with the Ghost by Aaron McCarthy. Baby Daddy by Kendall Ryan. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I cried so hard at that ending. What the F was that ending? It was horrible. Ugh, I'm still upset about it. I might make a video about it. Just, I'm so upset at this book. I'm so sad. And I Darkened by Kirsten White. It was pretty good. Not exactly my cup of tea. I am super into historical fiction, but I just thought it was kind of, um, I don't know, dry, I guess. Plus, the relationship between the girl and the love interest was, like, super weird. And just, blah. I didn't really like it that much. Also, I thought some of the characters were whiny and stupid. And just, blah. But I guess it was well written, just not the characters. Hmm. But the premise was pretty cool, like a female version of Vlad the Impaler, like, solid. Um, Souls of the Sea by Ruta Sepetaeus. Oh. Great book. Hated the ending. It was a good ending, and it was a well written ending, but it was sad. It was so sad. Uh. Okay, next book, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. What was that ending? I had to read the ending twice because I didn't understand what exactly happened. Because just, whoosh, the ending. What was that? And I'm probably going to make a video about that too. I don't know if I'll do like a, a compare and contrast between the book and the movie or not. I haven't decided yet, but Great Gatsby. Also, I didn't realize how extremely sexist and racist it was, but it was. But it's also, it was like written in 1925, and I guess that was the thought of the time and stuff. It still made me super uncomfortable reading it. Yeah. Next book, Adventures of a Vegan Vamp by Kate Lawley, which was really strange. Um... Bunny and the Bear by Eva Langless. And that's the end of my list. Those are the 36 books I read in 2018. 36 books I read in 12 months. 365 days. One year. Woo! I successfully reached my Goodreads goal. Yay! So, um, that was that video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. What books did you read in 2018? Were they good? Were they bad? If you have read any of the books that I read in 2018, let me know how you liked them. Um, and stuff. 
click that little bell to get notified for when I upload new videos. And, um, bye, I guess. Let the exits pass, all the tar and glass, till the road and skyline. The strangers in this town, they raise you up just to cut you down. Oh, Angela, it's alone.